Mike here. Uh, so another video here with a little freezer unit. Uh, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, um, I slapped this chiller, uh, this modular freezing unit, uh, into this uh, small junky fridge here. Uh, it was a thermoelectric fridge. Um, uh, got it to operate yesterday, but my evaporator size is far too limited. Um, cap tube's probably not the right length yet, um, but what I was doing yesterday, I didn't expect much with. So I haven't made any um, physical modifications to the unit. Um, my intention is to uh, eventually design a larger evaporator uh, because that'll get my, my low side pressure up. Um, we're up around like 45 pounds right now, um, and that's because I'm using a, a coolant. Um, I have a bucket that I picked up at Goodwill yesterday. Red stripe bucket, nice thin metal, um, and uh, it's got some coolant in it. Got some water down there. I'm gonna freeze and a small electric fan just to keep the air moved around. And uh, it seems to be working pretty effectively. Um, it's taken my limited surface area and uh, <clears throat> get, getting a lot better heat transfer. Um, I imagine by the time I get down to pretty low temperatures um, with the coolant in there, hopefully the the strength of the coolant is enough it doesn't start to freeze onto the coil. Um, but uh, anyway, that uh, that that uh, better heat transfer with the coolant um, is allowing me to move a hell of a lot more heat right now. So in about 20 minutes, um, the air tem temperature inside only dropped about 15 degrees, but the coolant temperature dropped about 40, um, 35 maybe. Um, moving a lot more heat here. I finally got that first value there is uh, uh, suction temperature taken directly in in the line. Um, it's actually pretty well at saturation right now, um, but with the, uh, the high heat on the, uh, the interchanger there, that helps to, uh, to offset you know, any kind of slugging that might occur. So uh, <clears throat> I charged it initially you know, with everything running hot and uh, fed it pretty well until I was getting some, some heat output from the condenser. Um, it's moving a hell of a lot of heat right now. We're at uh, 250 pounds, which corresponds to um, 127 degrees saturation on the condenser, so it's, it's pretty warm. Um, 117 there is the subcooling temperature taken directly in line here. Um, if you haven't watched any of my previous videos, the refrigerant in this thing is just barbecue grade propane. So um, I may find that I overcharged it. Um, it's got about 1.9 ounces of propane in it, um, junk propane. Uh, <laughs> um, so as the temperature continues to fall in the bucket, um, uh, that, uh, that 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 saturation temperature, that, that suction temperature, is going to uh, uh, stay right with you know the, the corresponding saturation temperature with that pressure, um, and I might even start getting a little bit of, of uh, liquid return to the compressor, which isn't good. So I might actually end up having to vent some once I start getting down to operating temperatures. But um, I've gotten down here pretty damn fast. It's it's moving a lot of heat, so this thing's a lot more effective with the with the coolant, at least right now, um, how effective it'll be at, at effectively chilling the inside of the, the uh, uh, ice box here is uh, yet to be seen. A um, uh, fair amount of surface area on the, on the surface of that, that metal, um, metal bucket. Um, picked it up for, I think, like two or three bucks. Um, seemed to be pretty, pretty good for my uses. It's nice thin metal. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that a little bit. You know, after 20 minutes, um, it's... Uh, it's it's moving a lot of heat. It's probably pulling about two amps at 120 volts. So, you know, it's, <laughs> it's uh it's going down fast with the size of this uh, this box, but uh, allows for a lot of fun in a short period of time. Uh, this condenser was originally has a computer fan on the back. Um, it was originally um, uh, paired up with this compressor in a little ice maker and uh, probably put out temperatures you know similar to that. Maybe not quite that hot, but similar. Um, it could stand to probably be a little bit bigger um, for what I have here, but really the compressor is oversized. I mean, it's a quarter horsepower compressor, um, and for an you know, application like this, it's oversized, but it happens to be one of the smallest compressors I have, short of this uh, small Cook Hand DC compressor. Um, uh, so eventually, if I pursue this, this project here, making this modular unit, um, I will eventually go for a smaller compressor. So, uh, but until then, you know, it's, it's, uh, there's a lot to be learned from this. It's a lot of fun. So I just want to do a little update and then later on tonight, I'll probably, um, do another little update to see how everything's going. Okay. Thank you.